Alright guys, my previous videos regarding the sneak peeks have been ridiculously long. So this time, I'm gonna make it shorter. Just to let you know, I've already reviewed the cards. Uh, just a quick glance. And I'm also gonna share how I evaluate an individual's card's power level. My name is Rolling Boy, and today, we're gonna preview the mouth cards. Alright. Let's jump ahead to the aquatic class. Uh, let me just explain first how I evaluate a card's power level. So how I do it um, is I see a pattern generally. For instance, here in the catfish card, you can see one energy equals 60 attack. And that is also true with other cards such as gravel ant, which is like one energy and 60 shield. So we can make one energy and 60 a baseline for all other cards so for instance this uh this card lamb we can already see that it is slightly stronger than the regular card and as well as piranha it costs one energy and 60 damage as well so at first glance at lamb it is slightly stronger than everything else we can immediately say that this card is stronger than the base cards so aside from its raw power level um, it deals bonus damage when the axis HP is above 75% so yeah that is already strong as is about catfish though it looks vanilla for me and just the regular stat line with a potential heal now if we move on to, to risky fish we saw the risky beast last sneak peek and it has the same effect so this card at first glance looks stronger than the baseline cards but it has a drawback of applying weak to yourself for two turns then on to piranha it is the default cost and uh, damage but it has an additional effect based on that we can assume that a baseline card is as i said earlier one energy 60 plus some effect let's move on to the beast so nutcracker we've already seen the nutcracker um, tail i guess and it's the baseline damage as i have talked about plus the effect so we can already say that this card is decent or, or okay then let's move on to the goda uh, goda has a pretty unique uh, keyword here banish and I believe this could only be used one time, uh, like per game, I guess. Uh, um, judging on the stats, it is just a decent card overall. Now, Axi Kiss, this one has the baseline stats, but the effect is probably strong. I guess that mark works like uh, how it works in V2. And it, it could also target enemy, now, now that I've noticed. So we could say that this card is uh, stronger than its siblings and lastly confident well it is a zero cost and i have mentioned in my first um origin review video that zero costs are always strong well maybe depending on the situation all right now let's move on to the plant serious this one is interesting because most plants in the game uh, have this card so now they have ridiculous damage potential with the 90 base attack and discard one card from your hand this could be mitigated by using it uh, the last as the last card it doesn't say that you need to discard before you could use it so maybe you could use this card even if you don't have any more cards in your hand so that's a little hack there guys now about zigzag we see we're seeing the vanilla stat right off the bat plus a potential heal now, like I said earlier, I've already read the cards from this reveal and there are other cards with healing potential like this. So we're going to see that later. And now Herbivore, this one is slightly stronger because it, it has more stats than the base cards plus it has a potential heal. So I can't really say if this card is going to be good, but it is slightly better than the base cards, definitely. Except for those that has like op effects like axi keys or something like that now silence whisper i'm guessing this is a heal like in v2 uh, it doesn't have the shield icon right here just a little better than the base stat now onto the bird class we could immediately see that double talk is slightly better than the base stats plus uh, it has an effect right here uh, we don't know what sleep does yet but i i, I think we saw the kaku card already and i'm judging sleep is gonna be powerful and uh, now peacemaker base stats then apply weak for two turns if the target preview has previously has weak deal 15 more damage if i'm not mistaken there is also a, a peacemaker um ears which could potentially have the same effect so this is where the same ears or eyes or whatever same parts benefit could potentially go 
and a little owl. We also have a little owl ears. If uh, I mean maybe eyes or ears, I, I forgot. Yeah, it, it's basically just like Nutcracker. Base stats plus effect. We rate this card decent. Now Hungry Bird, if initial deal 15 HP, um. It's like herbivore, basically. Maybe cards like this are good for tanks or something like that, which could benefit from the heals. And now, for the bug class. Uh, heal HP equal to the 50% of unblock damage. It's the same as... Uh, what was that? It's the same as... Zigzag. So, you're seeing a pattern here, guys. You're seeing life steals from the mouth cards. And I'm guessing that this is just the initial effects of the cards. I mean, Origin is gonna start at Season 0, right? So, these cards are probably gonna change in the future. I mean, this is the first iteration of Origin. So, just like Sky Mavis mentioned, uh, these cards could potentially change effects depending on how strong it is on the meta. So now, let's move on to Pinsir. So, base stats plus effect. That's not surprising. That is decent. Cute Bunny. Base stats, effect. It's just the same, guys. So, but, but we don't know what fear does. And I believe fear is gonna be strong. Just like Balloon Pop. So this is potentially strong, guys. Uh, even if it has the base stats, it could potentially have an overpowered effect. Let's see, let's see. Alright. And now, square teeth. If initial, deal bonus damage equal to the current shield. Now, I'm puzzled by this card. Because initial, as we have surmised, should be the first card played in the in the round. So how how are you gonna have shield in your axi before playing any card? So I'm guessing I don't know. Maybe there are shields that could like last for several turns that exist in Slay the Spire, and there could also be power ups that could like quote unquote retain some shield effects. So let's see. It's gonna be interesting for Square Teeth since it is a zero cost card. Alright, lastly. Reptile. So Kotaro, deal two hits to random enemies and gain one energy if hit at least two enemies. So this is basically a free attack, guys. And if you hit two enemies with this, it's raw power matches our base stat. Aside from having the base stat, it's basically a zero cost as well when you have one or more enemies. So this is gonna be interesting with um, attack buffs, I guess, or power ups that could potentially grant debuffs as it could spread into other axes. Alright, Razor Bite, base stats plus lifesteal. We've already seen that and I could say that it's quite redundant right now but there is a high chance that this would be changed in the future, not financial advice. <laughs> Alright, Tiny Turtle. Its power level is um, lower than the base stats but I believe stunned is a strong keyword here to me uh, to balance the card they reduce the attack and yeah that maybe that is the reasoning why chomp I mean tiny turtle is slightly weaker than its siblings because stunned is probably gonna be okay just like in v2 and lastly toothless bite slightly better base stats with that with that five points of damage increase and plus the back door as well so we could say that this card is good because it has slightly higher stats and not just that, it has potential backdoor. And that's it guys. I hope you learned how I evaluate cards in this video and let me know if what I'm saying makes sense. So I hope you enjoyed the video and with that, I'm gonna see you on the next one. Peace.